Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you haven't seen it, this is my Tinkercad ring project. It is pretty sweet as we can make fun rings really, really fast. This weekend, I shared a cool way that you can round the inside edges of your ring. That is epic. I do have an extra thing for you. We have got a ring sizer that I've shared. And it works like this. You print both halves and you can tell the ring sizes on both sides. But friends, I have got an upgrade. Check it out. You can also print it with the millimeters for each one. So this one with 20.6 matches up with ring size 11. You'll find out tomorrow just how cool that is with a different project. Right here we've got the same thing also for the even sizes. Now friends, I have made a couple other modifications. I've got the colors changed so you can see them better. I am putting these as sets. So you can print the millimeter side and the size side at the same time. I don't think it's wise to have double the size. It just doesn't help. I will leave them there if you want to export them and print them that way. These were also originally designed so that you could rubber band or wire them together. I have been working on little clips. Uh, this clip has locks. Notice I left a note. It has not been tested. I have tested two of these. They do work well. This one is rounded. Once again, just trying different techniques. You can pick which one of those you want to experiment with. There may be more added as I keep messing with the design. That is one of my favorite things about the Tinkercad share system is I can keep updating it and each time you download it you will get the most up to date copy. Also you can adjust it will and you will not be breaking anything I've created. Friends this is Ultimaker Kira and we're going to be printing with my A8+. Plus. Now the first thing I do is grab the files. We're going to have to do this for all of them. Let's first start with the odd set. I like to print mine rotated 90 degrees, so I'm going to switch to this tool, grab the blue one, and bam, drop it where I want. I've got mine set to slice after I make adjustments, so right now let's double check what my settings were. I'm doing extra fast, 0.3 for my layer height, 0.8 for the walls, 1.2 for the top bottom thickness, infill is going to be 20% using cubic, 200 and 60 are my temperatures for the PLA. Print speed is 75 and I am using skirt for build plate adhesion. I'm going to hit slice. I'm also going to insert my SD card. Notice once that is in, when it connects, I can simply save it to the removable disk. Since I'm going to do this on an SD card, I'm going to do the other pieces as well. So I'm going to hit delete on that. Once again, bring in the new one. This time it is the even set. Still going to rotate and finally slice. Because of how I named them, I can simply hit saved removal disk. Once again, cancel that. And now I'm going to snag the pins. Now I want many of these. That way if I lose one, I'm fine. So I am going to right click and I'm going to choose multiply and I want a total of four. So I'm going to have three. I'm going to do OK. And then I'm going to right click out here and I'm going to arrange all models. They come up with the smartest way for me to print them. Same settings, slice. And we're going to save the removal disk. This time I'm going to eject them and let's go get them printed. And friends, here we are with the printed ring sizers. You can see there's sizes on this side. If we spin it around to this side, you can see you've got the diameter in millimeters. The clips are getting adjusted one more time. They are a little bit snug. As you can see, they do hold them in place. We are using those clips because that way if somebody gets their finger caught in here, you can just release the clips and let them out. Simple, efficient, and of course, you can copy and tinker to your heart's delight. Real quickly, friends, of course, you can find the link to that project in the description of this video. You can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com, and if you click on the HL Mod Tech profile, you will instantly be transported to my account. It'll be sorted by most recent. So, of course, today, this project is right here, and this is where you would hit copy and tinker. If you don't see it on that screen, I do want you to know you can also click this screen and see more at once. You can also sort by trending. Maybe it'll be up there near the top. 
And then finally, you can sort by reactions. And hopefully someday, it's near the top of these as well. Now friends, remember when you do click on any of my projects, of course, if you look over here, you will likely find a tutorial. And then of course, right here is where those reactions are and they are always appreciated. If you look down below, you'll obviously find my website and other ways to reach me. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.